Hey guys, and welcome back to another episode of Minecraft. And on this episode, I am joined by... Beelzebub, a gamer, guys, from Hydro Scene. What's up? And basically what we're going to be doing on Super Happy Fun Times, guys, is play with the Enterprise a little bit. We're going to try to fix it up a little, get it back to the point where we really, really want it. Or I shouldn't get back to the point, get to that point uh, in the first place, because we, you know, we started with wood, and over... Over the course of time, we've kind of figured off, figured out that we really wanted that middle look. We went with iron blocks, which were really, really expensive, and it didn't quite give us the same look that we were going for. So what we ended up going with was the uh, the nether quartz, and we made blocks out of that, stairs out of that. You couldn't you couldn't make stairs out of the the iron blocks anyway. So it was very, very blocky, and without the stairs, you know, it's just not going to look right. So I think wait, we made the best wait, choice hold on. in that one. Hold on, what are you saying? What are you saying? This game is blocky? Well, you know, I mean, it, <laughs> you like what? the blockiness to a certain extent, <laughs> but at the same token, you do want to be able to make some semi-smooth objects that at least resemble what you're trying to make. I so. would love to make my sausage shape look like a sausage, guys. I really would. Well, we just uh, have to look at that way. video. Yeah, we have to yeah, look at that, there's way, yeah. that website. Uh, do you have dirt talking. over here? I hope that you have a lot of dirt over here. I need a lot of dirt. You're talking about, like, in my base? Uh, yeah, you know, like, like, oh, well, you got plenty of cobblestone. I may have to use cobblestone. Well, let's look for dirt, guys. I was going to say, I think there's some dirt in there. I haven't used it in a while, so wonder, who knows. I wonder what? if I have any in mine. I don't think I do. Oh, wow, you got so much stuff over here. It's Calf, man. Calf goes out there, and he just harvests, like, tons and tons of resources, so. Another brick. He, he's been busy, man. He's been doing a, a fantastic job, and... You know, you don't really have to do all that much. You can just come out here and, and work on your own property. I know he, he said he wanted to build, like, an underwater base as well, so... Yeah, we want to see what you do with your uh, with your place. Uh, well, I, I mean, I, I'm more than fine with him working on ours, but I'm just saying, like, he doesn't have to. <laughs> I'm like, yeah, I love the fact that, you know, but I, I would love to see, I mean, if you know, imagine what he could do with that underwater base, man. Can you imagine? Why do you have so many flint and silks, Calf? What's up with that? The, I guess they go bad or something like that. That's crazy. Probably. Well, what do you use them for is my question. No idea, man. That's, mm -hmm. uh, you know, I'm not as familiar with this game as uh, as Calf is, obviously. But, yeah, we are learning little by little. Uh, very little by little, actually. It takes us a while, but we do get there eventually, so. Guys, let me ask you a question. If anybody out there who know Minecraft and and have more knowledge of it than we do, let me ask a question. Do you have to feed your animals when you get on? Um, do the, does their health degrade if you don't take care of them? Let me know because I do not want any of my animals to suffer or to die in a digital fashion, okay? You, you know, know who I was watching uh, play with their animals just the other day was uh, Hitch. Hitchy, man. He has a, a little dog with him. Yeah, and yeah. I was like, he was yeah. singing to his dog. I love that, man. <laughs> it was, uh, <laughs> yeah, it's cool, man. It's a beautiful little dog and everything, and he, he definitely loves that animal. I love his videos. That's why I was bringing it up, guys. He does archery videos. And we gave him a shout-out the other night on EverQuest, but I'm going to give him a shout-out here as well because he really does some fast, f some fantastic stuff. And I love the scenery that he has over there. He's a he lucky... such a beautiful place. Yeah, yeah, he's very lucky to have that beautiful scenery. I wish I had scenery like that over here. I, You know, I live in the city, so a lot of the time it's just concrete and more concrete mixed in with just a little bit more concrete and that's the the best i get i love going out to my brothers who lives on a farm but i have to travel like an hour and a half out of my the way that i normally go home to, to stay over there so it's uh it's a little rough i don't get over there nearly as much as i would like but yeah i definitely like the outdoors what about you like what what's some people like the city i know my brother-in-law is definitely i that love way. the hike i love the hike there's uh we have a lot of trails around where I live, a lot of mountain trails that are very beautiful. And so, I, I, I yeah, I love the outdoors. Man. Okay, yeah, so I like to fish. I, you know, I like to fish. I like to... Yeah. My brother-in-law is from New York, and so he loves the big city. He also loves to fish as well, so, you know, he didn't get to do as much of that as he would have liked uh, living over in New York. There's probably plenty of places you could have. At the time, he just didn't get to do very much of that, so he's loving AC? it down here now. What's up, man? AC? Come here, dude. Uh, okay, hold on one second. You where you, where you at? What have you done, dude? Uh, up on the the back of the the Enterprise. Okay. Uh, one come, down, second. come down. No, I gotta go up okay. to be where I can get down. We don't have the stairs in the right way yet, so. Oh, we got stairs over here. 
Like, oh, what, what? where'd you get a Pigman from, man? I don't know, dude. I was like, what have you done? Have you been in the Nether? <laughs> but yeah, if you come up these stairs right here, man, you can get up here. You don't have to go all the way up to the top and just fall off. Did you bring a Did you bring a Pigman from the Nether? I don't know, man. Maybe it's because we got two together like that that he just came through. Did he really? Did he come through while you're watching, or no? I, no, no. He I just came up here, and there he is. Uh, that is maybe Very going weird. to be a problem. I, don't, I, don't I mean, know. I think we could kill him, right? No, well, I don't want to kill him. I don't want to mess with him. Yeah, but I mean, he's here, man. Yeah, but you know what happened when you mess with the pigmen, dude. When they don't explode, yeah. though. No, they don't explode, but they, they get mad. Oh, man, I can't believe you hit him into the water, dude. That's going to be dangerous, dude. <laughs> Why would you do that? Now he's down there, and he's angry, and he's going to come up here and kill you. I warned it's you, man. Like, it's, like almost, it's almost like AC doesn't like him for some reason. I told you not to do it, man. <laughs> you did it anyways. You can't blame me if he comes over here and kills you. <laughs> Dude, he's down here on the on the little floor. Oh, piggy, piggy! Oh no! Oh, somebody killed him, dude. That is so wrong. What is wrong with you people? You can't leave these guys alone. They just want to exist. They just want to be in nature. <laughs> just be aware, pig man. I, I am not the aggressor here. <laughs> what? You not the aggressor? When does that ever happen? Hey, I, I was the one that like bumped into him the first time, and then they came after him. Hey, all I did was look at him, man. It was like 3 o'clock high all over again. I didn't do nothing to that guy, and he still wanted to kick my butt. Dude. It, seemed like, it seemed like to me that you were, you were aggressive, dude. I was like, no, no, AC, don't do it, but it was too late. And you know, there's something we forgot to do on the last video, man. We forgot What's to that? call out a Halloween movie for people to go watch. Ooh, we did. Um, what are you thinking? I'm saying we should probably do two today since we forgot one yesterday. I can do that. So I'm going to think of a second movie, but for now, I'm going to go with uh, uh, Friday the 13th as just a classic movie that I'm sure, you know, probably 90% of you guys out there have seen. If you're younger, maybe not. They play it almost every Halloween, regardless of your age anyways, but for some of you, you might be uh, unfamiliar with that movie. I think it's a great movie. Friday the 13th, guys, go check it out. What about you? Well, let's see. Um, hmm, let me think. I think Insidious, guys. I think I'm gonna pick Insidious. That's not from the '80s. Though. No, no, it doesn't have to be from the '80s. It be whatever, okay. yeah, whatever yeah, you guys, want. Let's see Insidious. Give it a chance. Give it a give it a watch. Tell me what you think of it, guys. And uh, did you say two? We need two. To pick two? Yeah. Okay, I think. I'm and the other one is The Grudge, guys. Uh, the remake with Michelle Gellar. Now I haven't. I've never seen the traditional Japanese. One, but I would love to see it. I think it, it's probably better than the remake with Michelle, Sarah Michelle Gellar. But that movie actually creeped me out. It actually creeped me out. So I think you guys should check it out. Now, I don't know if this really classifies as a horror movie. Definitely a movie that uh, horrified me as, as a kid, uh, which is Misery. Guys, it creeps me out to this day. <laughs> it's one of those movies that will get underneath your skin, especially if you have... Any any desire to ever go into like the public life for any reason, that movie will scare the crap out of you. You probably won't ever want to do it, ever. That <laughs> holy crap, Kathy Bates, man, she is phenomenal in that movie in such a way that's just creepy. Yeah, she is a good actress. I enjoy her work. She's fantastic, man. Fried Green Tomatoes. She did did a role like that. I mean, just was she evil in Fried Green Tomatoes? Ah, uh, you know, it's hard to say evil. Because, like I said in that one, she murders her husband because he's abusive. And then she free feeds them as barbecue, the body, to the townsfolk. So evil? Mm, probably. But yeah, it, it is somewhat wise. somewhat deserved. At least uh, the, the abuse-wise, yeah, she had a right to defend herself. But to feed them to, you know, the other people? No, 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 no. Please don't ever do that, guys. Soil and green, man. Soil and green. Soil and green is people. No. Uh, hey. I hate coming up from the bottom of my ship, man. It's it's like the worst design out what, of all of them. It's what do you terrible. mean? Just uh, you know how you have to run through the water and everything. Well, then you can you can add a doorway there. We actually have. Are you talking about from down here and going up? Yeah, yeah, from the act. No, from here, coming up, coming up to that hole right there. You can get rid of that hole altogether, man. And you can actually add stairs down here. That would lead straight up to the top section. Like, you could actually do that now if you want to rearrange a few things. I need to. I need to fix that. I think it looks good the way it is. I mean, it it's really just, you know, how much work you want to put into it. All the work. 
I want well, to do all the work. I'm just saying, like, it, it works the way it is. You can go up the ladders. It's not as easy, but it's still, you know. What about you can all do. the work, though? I want to do all the work. You can do all the work. I'll just, I'll just stand here and watch it. <laughs> That's an info commercial from somewhere. Uh, I think it's from Adult Swim, actually. Info commercial? Hey, uh, lose all. Oh, yeah, he says lose all the weight. Oh, I was going to say, info commercial telling you to work? I've never heard of one of those. They're always talking about doing the least amount of work. Oh, it's only 10 minutes a day for this exercise that's going to get you looking exactly like me? I don't think so. <laughs> I mean, I'd, uh, you talked to like Arnold Schwarzenegger when he was doing the Mr. Universe, and he talked about just how much he had to work in the gym, and he was there all day, yeah, every like day. Yeah, like 9, 10, 12 hours a day for him. Yeah, yeah that, that's his, it was a career, man. It was a job. He'd show up, he'd exercise as a living, and then, of course, it paid off for him. Yeah, those competitions, uh, when he won, they were big money. That was big money. I don't know how much money he got out of it, but eventually he got a career out of it in acting, and that was yeah, tons and tons of money. I'm glad he did because he's Mr. actually Universe, really good, man. The title, was, the title was Mr. Universe. I would have to look that up, though, because I think – now, wouldn't that come with, like, a big cash prize, Mr. It, Universe? It might, but, I mean, it was the 80s and, yeah, not necessarily big cash prizes like they are now. Yeah, but $5 in the 80s is worth $1,000 in – in our time, no, it's it's not it's not like the fifties where inflation has, has changed it dramatically. You know, you you made money in the eighties. It's pretty much you were still getting crap. I mean, you weren't getting paid that much. You're ruining my dreams, dude. Of what? Getting paid in eighties money? You gonna, you're gonna tell YouTube, hey, instead of paying me in, in dollars today, could you pay me in the eighties cash? Yeah, I want eighties money. I, I want those old dollars that are no longer used anymore. With well, presidents the on them that, that aren't there anymore. <laughs> the out of circulation ones. <laughs> oh, man. I need to stop being so silly, dude. It's your fault. You know, I actually heard a rumor today, and I don't know if it's actually true or not, but I heard that they're going to be replacing uh, Trump on The Apprentice with Arnold. Arnold who? Yeah, Arnold who, yeah. No, exactly. It's Arnold Schwarzenegger, man. Who's that? See, do I have any blocks? Do you have any more blocks oh, of quartz? <laughs> no, I'm out, dude. <laughs> I am out. Ow, ow. <laughs> God, I'm so terrible. <laughs> awful at that. Oh, man. Eat your peas and cats. <laughs> wow. I remember the, the Dana Carvey skit where he was up there with, uh, what's his name, uh, doing like the, the, you know, that's what his thing was. He's like, eat your peas and cats. And the other, they even did a competition, like a, a Mr. Universe one. Where they were lifting up the weights and their arms ripped off. You know, it's like a comedy skit. Uh huh. I guess you haven't seen that one? Yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah, I've seen all those old Saturday Night Live uh, skits. $16,000 for that, for a whole block of the quotes. Oh, really? Mm hmm. And I need. Uh, there. I think I threw them to you. Did you? Did I? Yep. Check your. They might be down in the water. Yeah, it's not up here. Oh, man. You going down there to check? Oh yeah, I'm not going down there. That that unfortunately right above the ladder or right underneath the ladder is just a giant pit all the way down. I'll go down there. I can't lose that that much force, dude. That was sixty four block. You're not gonna make it back up if you if you get down there. Oh yeah. You're gonna lose everything, man. Will you lose everything? I don't even see nothing down here. It's not down here. Oh there there it went. Oh no, I got a ladder. Why did, did you I get a ladder? Oh, because I just chopped the other one down. Oh okay. Oh, see, I made it up. You can go ahead and put that ladder back on and get back up. Did you do that on purpose? I was just getting rid of the wood block that was there so I could, so I could actually oh. put the quartz down. Go ahead oh. and chop this down get rid of these guys. Oh, will it not? Will it not? Can you not put a ladder on quartz? I guess not. Oh, yeah, you can. You put one there. You just need another ladder to get up more. That's on wood, though. No, it isn't. That's on quartz. Oh, there we go. Okay. I got up, so I don't know. I like chicken. I know that. Yeah, toss me a little if you got some, man. I don't, dude. I went down. Oh, yeah. I <laughs> found them. There we go. Yeah. yeah so there I guess we they were at the bottom of the ocean. Holy crap. I guess yeah. I picked them up and didn't check my inventory. Let me get some more shop. I can't believe you actually made it all the way down there without dying, man. 64. I think we'll probably have to change the back of this because I don't think it's so square, but... Oh, actually, no. We're going to take that down real quick. And let's get rid of this. So what do you think? Should we go down into the nether on the next episode? Oh, yeah. Get some quartz. Uh, I am going to buy us a few stacks, though. 
shop by war no 64 64 u-u-a-r-t-z-e-l-o-c-k see now that i'm looking there at it I don't, I don't even think we need these bricks in here if we're gonna have stairs out there so i might just leave those down you guys hear the rain in the in the recording i don't i don't hear any rain on my side mm -hmm. I just, I want to go to sleep, man. <laughs> I wish I had a, a real comfy sleeping bag and a pillow. I would just lay down here while you're recording, and, and you would hear me snoring very soon. Yeah, I love the rain. I don't get to sleep near enough. Uh, I just, I'm never tired. But when it rains, it's one of the few times that I can, can just roll over and sit next to a window, read a book or something like that, and, and just uh, fall asleep very, very, oh, very easily. Awesome. It's, uh, one it it's awesome. It's a, it's a good thing. Snow, on the other hand, is the same way because it makes me cold, and when it's cold outside, I can sleep really easy as well. You've but never seen the snow. No, on uh, camera, on camera when it's snowing, or if it's cold outside, cold period will always make me tired. But really, <clears throat> yeah, it just doesn't get cold here very often. But on the few days out of the year that it actually does, uh, I find it highly enjoyable. Man. Probably because I get to sleep. <laughs> it's one of the few things I never get to do. Do you need another stack of blocks? Uh, no, I'm good for now, man. Okay. Let's come over here and see if we can find some stairs. I think we left some in here. All right. Yep, we sure okay. did. 54 now stairs this, right there. This side's coming, coming across. 54 quartz block stairs? Yeah, I left some in here. I wish I'd have known that. And I left some slabs over here and some blocks as well. So. Actually, let's put the silver in here for now. Not silver, iron. With the iron blocks, what else can we take out? We can take out some of those ladders. Oh, we got another pigman. Another one? Yeah. Well, don't kill oh. him like you did last time, man. <laughs> These guys are precious to us. <laughs> You're a terrible person. <laughs> <laughs> what you talking about? Just leave them alone. They're just, they're just oh, trying to a, exist. He's got an enchanted sword. What's up, guy? Got an enchanted ghost sword over there, guy? Why can't I put this down? Oh no! I knew that was gonna happen. Try and make it sure it wasn't, but it did anyways. Okay, let's see. I can put get up here. Let me go ahead and put that ladder back down here. Fix this up. There we go, guys. There we go. Now maybe I won't fall off so many more times. There we oh, go. that's what I'm talking about right there, guys. It's almost as sexy as I am. Oh, what are you man. working on right now? You're still doing it in the cells? Yeah, still doing it in the cells. This has got to be boring, though. People just watching me, like, uh, put one in the cell next to each other. No, it's actually interesting. When I watch other people do videos like this, I find it in incredibly enjoyable when I see how they did it. You know, like, what what did it take to get to that point? My Especially since I don't know what I'm doing half the time. It, it gives me, like, a lesson in how to do it in the first place. So I found out where that song came from that I was singing last night on all our EverQuest videos that you and uh, Dude Rocket were making. Uh, it, what it, song it were you singing? I don't remember you singing. Commercial. Yeah, I was singing, Wild Horses. You don't remember that? Mm -mm. I sing that like constantly through all your videos. <laughs> it was even annoying me. Yeah, I don't remember that at all. But, uh, you know, I was going to ask you, man, are there any new movies that you're looking forward to coming out uh, this Halloween? Just uh, Star Wars, man. Yeah, not really a Halloween movie, though. I mean, is that... Oh, it's very Halloween. I, I, what do you mean? It's, it's uh, costumes from all over the galaxy, dude. New creatures and stuff like that, dude. Come on. How can you get more Star Wars? I mean, Halloween than Star Wars. Halloween is synonymous with Star Wars now, man. The Darth Vader costumes, Yoda costumes. Not really what I was looking for. I mean, it's, it's kind of like saying... I don't know. It just doesn't, it doesn't scream Halloween to me, man. Like, Halloween needs to be scary but creepy and yet interesting in the same way you don't think Darth Vader's scary to a to a you know, child uh, maybe to a child but it shouldn't be yeah, to well, an adult Halloween Halloween is more for children than it is for adults man I mean and if I was going to a Halloween party I would want to dress as Darth Vader he's my, you know he's my guy you know that I can't seem to get in there just right but I understand I, I know what you're saying I mean um, if I really was going to dress up in the spirit of Halloween, and I've done this before, I would dress up as Michael Myers. Uh, you can still get the mask. The mask, I think, is like 14 to 20 bucks. Uh, it's an old Captain James T. Kirk 
mask. Yeah, I can't believe that it was, man. When somebody told me that for the first time, I was like, yeah, and he actually sued too. Because he didn't, he didn't like how he wasn't making any money off of that when they were just literally taking his nope, his taking mask. His license, so. Yeah. Ah, oh, great. That's not what I wanted. Yeah, I don't know how they got away with it, man. I think uh, I don't think they had to pay him anything. Uh, that doesn't sound right to me. I mean, you know, me and you've talked about this many times. Uh, I'm a I'm a fan of the original Enterprise and stuff like that. I just don't think it stacks up anywhere uh, near. Uh, the next Enterprise, and uh, you know, you guys may hate me for that. You may cuss at me. I mean, I understand that some people out there are just as adamant about about the the original Star Trek crew as I am about the next generation. It's just you know, I grew up with the next generation, guys. I, so you, you know, think the next gen is better than the original? In my opinion, yes. In my humble opinion, guys, I'm not saying my opinion is better than anybody else's at all. It's not what I'm going uh, going for. I'm just saying that. In my opinion, the next inter the Star Trek: The Next Enterprise, uh, the the next generation is my favorite out of all the Star Trek shows. And that's just, that's all I'm saying. And what do you what do you think of the original? I mean, like, are you do you like the original? Did you watch I all of them? them? When I was a child, yeah. When I was a child, those were some of the first TV shows that I watched. Was the the original uh, Star Trek, and I remember watching the original Star Trek. I remember watching Doctor Who uh, with uh, the Blake guy, the guy who always wore the scarf. Around him, you know, he was on in the 70s and the early 80s. The Rainbow I remember one? Watching, I remember watching old black and white Godzilla movies. That was my TV childhood. Old black and white Godzilla movies, the original Star Dude, Trek. those were classic, man. I love Godzilla yeah. movies. I still watch yeah. those to the day. Just don't yeah. ever watch Godzilla vs. a Smog Monster. Turn it off. Turn, delete it to destroy that movie. Do not ever watch that movie. Please, oh, yeah. save yourself time, guys. You will not get through it anyways. I, I, in fact, there's a challenge right there for you guys. If you can watch that movie and get through it, uh, I don't have anything to give you other than to say amazing. Because that is one of the worst movies out of every movie I've ever seen. <laughs> so boring. So unbelievably boring. And just bad graphics, bad everything. And that's saying something when you know you're going into a Godzilla movie in the first place. To come out saying it had bad graphics... And you knew ahead of time it was going to have bad graphics? Yeah, no. that's It's bad. <laughs> it's bad. Not in a good way. <laughs> it's bad. It's bad. <laughs> you know it's it. It's really, really bad. <laughs> it's not like a Michael Jackson song, dude. It could be, man. But, yeah, I... Oof. Oh, so horrible. Let's see. Enderstone. Oh, we don't want that. I'm trying to put my stuff in here so I can keep it here for anybody who needs it later down the road. I think that's everything there. Okay, so we're going to come back over to the Sandcastle and let uh, Beelzebub do this area over here because, you know, the, the hard parts are pretty much all that's left, and it's the parts where you kind of have to look at it and be like, do I like that or do I want something different? And that's something he's going to have to make a, a decision. I can't really help him with that part. So. I'm not even really going to ever make up my mind until I see the saucer section made the way that I want it to be made. And I'm going to do, I'm going to try and do it my way the first before we even look at that, guys, because I have a, a vision. You see how these blocks, how the blocks seem to give it, uh, give the wooden cells a kind of roundish look? I think if I do that to the outside of this, and me and Calf were talking about how this should be five high, and then we go down on the outer edges to four high, and then three high, and then two high, and then one high. And then if we fill that in with steps, which is going to be really hard and really difficult, and it's really going to be a pain in the butt. But I think once we get that done, it will look like a saucer. And if that's not what, uh, if it doesn't look correct, then I think then I'll look up what the videos that you're telling me about. But I think that I think that I can do it. I think I can make it look like a saucer without having to look up anything because of what how Caffeinator explained it to me. So I'm going to run with that idea first, and then if if you know, I'll get, of course I'll get your opinion and Caffeinator's opinion and everybody's opinion on it. If it doesn't look like a salsa to you guys, then I'll start over again. Well, I don't think you ever really have to start over, man. It's just about tweaking it here and there to make it uh, right, you know, right. really come out the way you want it to, which it can be kind of difficult. But I think you're gonna, I think you're gonna get there, man. You're gonna do it just fine. Oh yeah, I mean it's already looking a lot better. The warp missiles are looking way better than what I expected them to turn out to be. I was just gonna make them round and blocky, and uh, caffeinated guy. He, you know, he's he made them look like this. And taught me how to do it. And Caffeinator Man, you're an awesome, dude. I just want to say thank you again for all the help that you've uh, given us. I wonder what happened to the guy who came out to see us. We kind of lost track of him. <laughs> oh yeah, I don't, I don't know where, where he went, but uh, I'm, I'm glad he. Yeah, I'm glad he came out, man. You're, you're more than welcome to do that anytime you want. 
don't know how I should... Should I put a bridge up there or something? I don't know. I'm trying to think of, like, EverQuest style. Like, where I would put monsters and stuff. And this seems like a good spot. Like, this seems like... Monsters perfect work. size. You what? What are you talking about monsters? What do you mean? Well, I'm just thinking, like, if I was creating a castle. And I'm I was thinking gonna... about snowmans going up the ladders, dude. Hmm. That's nuts. He's going up the ladders. And okay. I'm sorry, what were we saying, bro? I didn't mean to interrupt you, but... No, nah, that's alright. I kind of want to go out this way, but I don't know how to dig into that... Let's see. I guess I can try it. What Let's about see. wild horses, dude? One, wild two. horses! Okay, so one, two. This is where I want to put the entrance. <laughs> Someone please shoot me. Oh, I didn't quite get it. Dang it. Okay, we'll try that again. Now, hopefully, if I'm quicker... Nope. What no. are you doing over there? I'm trying to destroy some of the sand and then put down sandstone so that I can put a doorway underneath it. But when you when you dig the sand up, you have like a split second to put the <laughs> the stone down. I saw our caffeinator do it, so I know it can be done. Ah, I just can't get the timing right. There we go. Yeah. Oh, come on. You got to be so freaking quick on the draw on that one. You got to actually anticipate when it's going to be destroyed, and then put it down. So that. Is gonna be how we do that right there. Let's go ahead. I bet, I bet every kid out there who plays this game is looking at rebuilding this stuff and looking how slow I'm doing it, and they're like pulling their. Hair out. Maybe, maybe, man. But <laughs> I'm sure they could do it a lot faster, guys. But every time I try and go faster, I fall off the ship and end up in the water, and that makes me mad. And then I take it out on AC, and then he beats me with the rubber hose, and it's just an ugly mess. It guys. puts the lotion in the basket, yeah. man. <laughs> and I don't want to put the lotion in the basket anymore, guys. <laughs> <laughs> that's a good uh, I'm going to have to make that my next I forgot all about those movies man those are great horror movies oh Never for the next movie. episode yeah yeah dude yeah. yeah I had a whole bunch of old 80 movies I wanted to put down but you know I keep forgetting what they are when I need to remember so yeah yeah me too I, I, like, I, I had a list planned out and do you think Rotten uh, the Attack of the Killer Tomatoes do you think that qualifies as a horror movie no I mean uh, it's horrible but it's not a horror <laughs> <laughs> It truly is horrible. <laughs> so I'll give you that. It's good though, man. It's it's a good cheese factor. But I, you know what, guys? I think we're gonna go ahead and end the episode here. If you do enjoy the videos, be sure to hit that like button, subscribe. Definitely helps grow the channel. And uh, if you want to leave comments down, we do love hearing back from you guys. There's the Enterprise right there in front of us, guys. It's coming together. This whole like turkey neck thing needs to be fixed, and then of course the whole bridge needs to be rounded out a whole lot more than it is right now. But we'll get there. I think we can even make it thinner because it's a little bit too tall, I think. But again, guys, uh, oh, you want to say anything before we head out? Just, uh, I love your butts. He In likes big butts, possible, guys. guys. <laughs> <laughs> we definitely catch you next time. Subscribe.